Hey, I'm Noah and today I'm reacting to Avatar The Last Airbender Book 3 Episode 3. Super excited to continue, been really enjoying it so far. Things got real interesting at the end of last episode, with Zuko hiring that hitman to go after Aang, all while the gang's trying their best not to get caught by the Fire Nation. It's definitely going to lead to some fun stuff, so I'm excited to continue watching. If you enjoy my reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Patreon for full-length reactions. But that's enough talking, let's hop into the episode. Yeah, it looks like it. It's swampy. <laughs> well, that explains why I can't catch a fish around here. Because normally my fishing skills are off the hook. Classic Sokka. Too bad your skills aren't on the hook. <laughs> yep, that's what I was thinking. It looks like we'll need to go somewhere else to get food. Assuming that'll fit into Sokka's master schedule. That's their schedule. Maybe we can get food there. Where are they heading? Now you look just like a little hill with horns. <laughs> Blends in perfectly. Why do you guys live on the river? Because we're a fishing town. At least that's how it was before the factory moved in. Ah, the factory's polluting the water. And now our little village is struggling to survive. Dang, it's really messed up here. We have to do something to help. No, we can't waste our time here. These people are on their own. We always help. How can you be so cold and heartless? We'll be helping them all by taking out the Fire Lord. <laughs> you know our mission has to come first. I guess so. We'll help them eventually. You work here too? I'm not Doc. I'm Shu. What? They're twins? Doc works on the docks. That's why they call him Doc. And I work in the shop. That's why they call me Shu. I don't get it. <laughs> Makes sense to me. If you buy three fish, I'll throw in a clam for free. Ugh. You'll just take the fish. Disgusting. Your brother, we need to ride back to shore. Hey, Colonials. My brother says you need a lift. <laughs> He's got multiple personalities. Can you spare some food? I wish I could help more. Good job, Katara. He's got like a Fire Nation scar as well. Looks like we'll need to wake up 43 minutes earlier every day. Wow. If we want to make up the time and stay on schedule, we have to wake up early. I'm not waking up early. <laughs> Either way, we have to leave here first thing tomorrow morning. Well, at least he has a plane. What's the matter, Katara? I think Appa's sick. No. That's awful! I might as well just throw our schedule away now! Yeah, you're screwed if you can't fly an Appa. <laughs> he doesn't look sick. You okay, buddy? Uh. His tongue is purple! That's not good. Maybe we can find the right herbs in town. We're gonna have to fix this place to heal him. What's going on with everyone today? Food was delivered to our village by a mysterious and wonderful person. Huh? The painted lady. I always thought she was just a legend. Until now. What in the world? All we need is medicine for our sick friend. All the medicine we have goes to the factory. That's why there's so many sick people in our village. Yep, we gotta stop them. Would you like the one-headed fish or the two-headed fish? Two-headed! <laughs> what? Those are some disgusting looking fish. Who the heck is this? Wow, this person's magical. I didn't think it was gonna be real. Thank you, painted lady. Who the heck is she? We need more food. Our friend is still sick and we can't leave until he's better. They're buying all the food. If she really wanted to help, she would use her spirit magic to blow up that factory. <laughs> Spirit magic doesn't work that way, Sokka. It's more like... Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Katara's inspired by this lady. Wait a minute. She is the painted lady. What the heck? Hello, painted lady spirit! Crazy. I don't mean to bother you, but my friend's sick and we're on kind of a tight schedule. <laughs> hey! Wow. The village made it sound like this was like a known spirit they've known for a long time. <gasps> I'm the Avatar. Well, hello, Avatar. <laughs> I am very busy. You're really pretty for a spirit. I don't get to meet too many spirits, but the ones I do meet, not very attractive. What the heck? Thank you, but you seem familiar too. Is he figuring it out? I really should get going. Oh, wow. Katara? You're the painted lady? <laughs> I wasn't at first, but since everyone thought that's who I was anyway, I guess I just kind of became her. Oh, 
that makes more sense. Is Abba even sick? He might be sick of the purple berries I've been feeding him. Oh my god. That's kind of messed up. I know I shouldn't have. No, I think it's great. If you want to help, there's one more thing I have to do. It was nice and all, but they are on a schedule. And now we need to stop this factory. Getting rid of this factory is the only way to help these people permanently. Really going in, just them two. <laughs> He's having fun. Wow. Flood the factory. Dang. There we go. Did some damage. Hi. We were just out on a morning walk. A morning walk? <laughs> I know you're the painted lady. And how long did you know about this? I just found out this morning. <laughs> oh no. He's gonna blame it on the little town, isn't he? Oh no. This is gonna be bad. What did you do? Kind of destroyed their factory. You what? <laughs> the army's gonna blame the villagers. Well, what was I supposed to do? Do nothing. Yeah. Will never ever turn my back on people who need me. I'm going down to the village. I respect that. I'm coming too. You really do have a heart. <laughs> he really does have a heart, doesn't he? Really? <laughs> you steal our food, our medicine, and then you destroy our factory. We didn't do any of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. This is a town of thieves and liars. <laughs> Katara really did set them up. Where's your painted lady now? Is she gonna come dressed as her? They're just gonna rip this whole place apart. Here comes Aang. Something strange is going on. No oh boy. She's coming. <laughs> painted lady. Making this real mysterious. Spooky. He's trying to scare him off. Instead of actually fighting him, just scare him away. Maybe it is her. <laughs> Are they just gonna run away? Oh wow. That is pretty fast. Do something! They're frozen in fear. Hangs underneath. Wow, they're making it seem magic. Stand your ground! Wow. This is a pretty cool way to fight. <laughs> I'll take care of you myself. 1v1's easy mode. Oh boy. Wow. Katara keeping that calm face on. Leave this village and never come back. Nice. You saved the day. I feel like you have to tell the people that you're not really a, some magical person. Then they'll get their hopes up forever. Me and my brothers really owe you a lot. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're not the painted lady. You're that colonial girl. He's good at recognizing. You're a waterbender. She's a waterbender. How dare you? Oh, yeah. They might not like waterbenders. You should be down on your knees thanking her. Be grateful. It doesn't matter if the painted lady is real or not. Because your problems are real, you have to help yourself. What should we do? Clean the river! <laughs> yeah! We really changed this village. How do you clean the river? Wow, that's some awesome progress. What the heck? Painted lady's real? If you were real, then why didn't you help? That's the episode.
That was a pretty cool episode. Really got to show how awesome Katara is and how she's always willing to help others. And I truly didn't expect her to be the Painted Lady when they were showing that earlier on. So that was a pretty fun reveal. But I'm surprised the Painted Lady's real because if she is real, then why didn't she help? So that part's a little confusing. But Katara's always been my favorite character in this show and this just shows why. And I'm excited to see more going forward. If you enjoyed my reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.